show you what I'm going to do in a minute in this week. I'm going to try and ah. get them to take the, the honey out of the very top soup and put it in the bottom soup. And then once they've done that, then I'll start feeding them if they need it. Look, I'm just stood here. It's him. Yes, go get him. Your dad was saying at the Bee Society this week, one guy sort of uh, had about half a dozen bees or so following him without his suit. They wouldn't leave him alone. And he set off across the fields and through the hedge and they all followed him. Yeah, it was quite funny. It was uh, something that one moment he was having an intelligent conversation, the next minute he was actually talking to the other jumping through the hedge. Come on, bees, move. Poor guy. Move. I'm just going to walk away because I've got very angry, do you hear? All right. And then I'll come back. Since the new queen's gone in, I haven't had any any proper queen cells in this one. But in that nuke box, I've had two. Yeah. So I wonder if that queen's either a little susceptible to swarming, or um, maybe doesn't produce as much of the pheromone as she ought to to kind of keep them under control. Yeah. Apparently, the um, the um, bees from uh, wherever it was. Maysmore. Yeah have been very prone to sw swarming this year because a lot of people have had the bees from there and uh, have had a lot of swarms. Mm. Oh look at them killing the wasps. Yeah. yeah there's good. a few very small golden bees in here as well so they're obviously young. Maybe that's a trademark of your new queen. I think it might be. <laughs> 